Brendan, great game for us to watch. How was it for the manager? Very frustrating. Um, a game where I felt we were the much better side, but lost the concentration at the beginning of the, the second half. And um, I thought we'd moved on from that, to be honest. Uh, you know, we scored uh, and had total control in the first half, a couple of little moments, but so some of our play was very good and we, we deservingly were in the lead. Um, but then we were so loose at the beginning of the second half, it was frightening. And uh, as I said, our concentration was very poor. So, uh, and before we knew it, we were 3-1 down. And uh, chasing the game last 20 minutes was was very good, but it's too late by then. You've got to be in control and you've got to, uh, as I said, make sure that your domination and, uh, and quality uh, keeps you in front. And unfortunately, uh, we didn't do that. What reasons then can you pinpoint for that loss of concentration? We're just lazy. I thought we were lazy. It was the easiest way to to describe it. There's no, um, just lazy in our play and loose and and sloppy. So um, it's as simple as that. Um, you know, you got to, you know, in that opening period, we didn't do what I call the dirty bits. You know, we didn't track runners. And um, as I said, you don't do that and you don't do the bits and earn the right. You know, in the first half we earned the right, we, we pressed the ball, we got tight, and then we showed our quality with the ball. And then the, the beginning of the second half, we didn't do that. So whether we thought the game was too comfortable, and at this level it never is. So uh, before we knew it, we were 3-1 behind. What then do you do to go about ensuring that that isn't the case again and again from now on? Well, it's just constant reminders and constant work. That's the, that is the, the building process here. Uh, as I said, some of our play and some of our, our movement and passing, and, and you sense the real creativity and excitement within the... Uh, within the players in the stadium, but you you can't keep having to score two and three goals and five goals to win games. You know we're so defensively, as I said, as a, as a group, we uh, you know we, we need to be better. Have you had to say some harsh words in the dressing room? Then? No, not really. No, it was calm. It's just I'm not. You know I will obviously be be open with my communication with the players, but um, but they're disappointed as well. But I'm not telling you. Anything that I haven't told them. So, uh, so as I said, we're disappointed with the result because, you know, for large parts of the game, we're a better side, but we got to defend better. And just finally, for me as well. I mean, perhaps one big moment was that chance that John Joe had in, in the second half, but also uh, the yellow card that Pinsy received for that challenge on Stuart Downing. I mean, what's your opinion of that, given the position that Stuart was in and the way he was taken out with the defender then to only receive the yellow card? For me, as a coach, it's a good foul. It's a tactical foul. The Italian boys are very, very good. That's yeah, a, it's a good foul. It's a good foul if you're as a coach in the game and, and there's a player going through. He wasn't the last man, so um, it would have been harsh to send him off. But from a coaching perspective, it's a good foul. Tony, any questions sorry, from the Italian journalist? Yeah, I haven't obviously seen any of the other results, so I don't know what, what they are. But um, but yeah, it's going to be a tight, it's going to be a tight group. Um, there was multiple outcomes in this tournament for us. You know, obviously we want to qualify and and we want to get through. Um, but as we've seen in the opening game, some of our young players that had the opportunity to play in it, they're actually now in the team, in our Premier League team. So uh, and we can over these course of these next games. Obviously, we're fighting for the points, which is important. But for me, I'm also looking at to see if there's one or two other players that can come out of that, that can uh, that help the group in our, in our league campaign. Is there anything from the uh, Italian journalist? Yeah, the guy has qualities. There's no, there's no getting away from it. Obviously, he's, he's set up. He was a good, very good finish. Um, of course, for the first goal. Yeah, and and, and uh, I think it was the third goal. He, you know, the second goal, probably a wee bit too much time, where he, he was juggling in the ball. But he, listen, he's, he's a quality player. But I'll always only concentrate on my, 
on my own players the more we can improve the more we can be better as I said the players you know, they give me everything and they give the team everything um, but like as I said in critical moments of the game in particular you know beginning of the second half 15-20 minutes you've got to be solid and you've got to stay tight and, and in that period we um, we gave away three goals so um, as I said it was bitterly disappointing Thanks guys Thank you very much.